Good morning, everybody. My name is Peter Renner, and I'd like to welcome you to the YouTube Telos Tennis channel, where I share videos with you that can help you to unlock your best tennis every single time you play. Today, I'd like to shine the lens, the light of Telos on six things that you can do to recover in the moment. And when I say recover, I mean physically, emotionally, and mentally. And when I say in the moment, I mean during points, in between points, and on changeovers. And I highly recommend that you stick around for all six things because you never know which ones are gonna be the ones that work for you. When you find yourself in a tight situation, when you find yourself afraid to miss, when you find yourself tight and you don't know why, and your nervous system has hijacked your body, you're gonna wanna know these six things that you can do. All right, I'd also love it once you've tried them out, if you'd leave a comment and tell me about your experience and if any questions popped up, I'd love it if you shared them as well. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Peter Rennert and I am the creator and the founder of Telos Tennis which is an awareness-based learning system that uses tools and exercises, unique tools and exercises, to help you unlock your best tennis every single time you step on the court. As a coach, I have worked with complete beginners all the way to Grand Slam champions. As a player, I've been ranked as high as 40 in the world with wins over people who were ranked number one in the world. And as a doubles player, I was top 10 in the world. And today, right now, I'm gonna share the six things that you can do to recover in the moment. All right, let's go. Thing number one, panoramic vision. So when you find yourself tight, when you're in your fight, flight, or freeze nervous system, your alert nervous system, your sympathetic nervous system, when you find yourself in that situation and you've gotten a big dump of adrenaline that makes it impossible to relax, one of the side effects is that your vision narrows. And you can only see a narrow slice of what's going on. And a simple way to de-escalate when you become aware of it is just to open up your vision and to see everything. I can see the racket on my right. I can see my hand on my left, but I'm looking at you. I also call that vision flexibility, my ability to focus on a central point, but be aware of my surroundings. Panoramic vision is another way to say it. All you have to do is relax into a soft focus. So right now, if you're looking at me and you're looking in my eyes, you can still see the trees behind me. You can probably see the fence and you can probably see the net. You can see the court and you can see the sky, even though you're looking at me. Or perhaps you'll feel your focus shift and you'll see all those things and you'll know my head is here, but you will won't really be looking right at me. That's called panoramic vision or vision flexibility. And that can de-escalate your nervous system in the moment. So if you find yourself super tight, nervous, your body is being hijacked. You're in a situation, it's eight, nine, and the tiebreaker in the third. If you take a moment and just let your vision soften so that you take everything in, you can de-escalate your nervous system. And that just might be the thing that helps you get that first serve in and take that point. That's thing number one. Okay, brings us to thing number two creating a specific and prioritized agenda. This one seems easier than it is, and I was inspired this past weekend when I was working with a weekend warrior who said he suddenly found himself with the yips, and he came to the lesson, his agenda was, I wanna get rid of the yips. Now, even though I kind of know what he meant by the yips, it has to be specific, and it has to be prioritized, and it has to be doable. So with a little back and forth, instead of getting rid of the yips, became, I want to enjoy playing tennis and I want to have a relaxed hand. I want to be able to go for my shots. 
and then a little more back and forth, and his agenda became, one, to breathe at the moment of contact, to make the sound mm, right at the moment of contact, and two, to have a relaxed hand. Now that is a specific and a prioritized agenda. And when you find yourself tight, it really helps to have a specific and prioritized agenda that isn't to win. Because we all know on some level, we don't have full control of whether or not we're going to win because the other person has a say in that. We could play the best we've ever played in our life and not win. So if the only goal is to win, what happens is that you don't get the feeling of success in the moment. And if you don't have the feeling of success, you don't produce dopamine. And I'm gonna tell you why that's important. But you can also go check out some of the other videos that I recommend on the channel about this that go into much more detail. The video on Body Mind Harmony, much more detail on this. Expose the Hidden Agenda, much more detail. Okay, so the reason why that dopamine is important in the simple version is that when we get tight and we get into our fight or flight or freeze nervous system, our sympathetic alert nervous system, we produce a lot of adrenaline. And if we keep producing adrenaline at a certain point, we quit. And we don't quit because we make the cognitive decision to quit. We quit because chemically the brain decides it's no longer worth it. Adrenaline without any dopamine is quitting. So the next step is how do I produce dopamine? Because dopamine buffers back adrenaline. When adrenaline's moving this way, you get dopamine, it buffers it back. And that combination of adrenaline and dopamine literally is the effortless zone. And the key piece in there, acetylcholine, which is the other chemical, focuses you on your specific and prioritized agenda. That's where you get success. So if you can truly embrace it and mean it, that breathe at the moment of contact, mm, that if you are able to do that, that's your number one agenda item, then you are successful. And if you really believe that, and it isn't really, oh, I want to win, then every time you go, mm, at the moment of contact, you are successful and you will feel successful. And when you feel successful, you produce dopamine and that buffers back the adrenaline. And that's how it works. That's how a specific and prioritized agenda can help you to recover in the moment. But as Ribbly Boo brought up in his comment on Expose the Hidden Agenda video that I asked you to take a look at, he doesn't know if he can stick to that agenda when he starts losing points. And I don't know either, but you have to practice it. I can tell you the moment you do it, the side effect is you start winning points. Instead of the goal being to win the point, the goals become these specific and prioritized things that you can do. Breathe at the moment of contact relaxes your nervous system, connects you to your relaxed nervous system, connects your eyes, your mind, and your body to the ball. It's an incredibly powerful tool that you can use in the moment to produce dopamine, to buffer back adrenaline, to get into the zone, to be relaxed and perform your best under pressure. That is as much as I'm gonna say for right now about thing number two. Okay, thing number three, the space between the breath. When we breathe, and there's a video on that as well with more detail, but I will give you the summary, is that when we breathe, there's a space, a pause before and after I inhale and exhale. If I don't have it, I'm panting. If I'm panting, I'm going to begin to produce adrenaline and end up in my fight, flight, or freeze nervous system, that sympathetic, alert nervous system. The one that produces all that adrenaline that makes it hard to relax. If I have that space between my breath, I can engage my parasympathetic or relaxation nervous system. That's why when I breathe at the moment of contact, that's what I do. So the first thing you have to do is become aware of that space. It isn't created by my holding my breath. It is just there. It is a natural part of the breathing cycle. And in order to become aware of it, that's gonna bring you to thing number four, which is palming. 
Palming is a simple exercise that I do. I go like this to get energy in my palms, and then I put my palms, let's get the racket out of the way. I put my palms over my eyes, and I do that for 60 seconds. And while I'm doing that, I become present. My mind and my body connect. I have a chance to de-escalate if I'm in my fight or flight nervous system and move down that continuum in the autonomic nervous system and move back toward being alert and calm instead of just stressed or highly stressed or panicked or whatever state it is I'm in. When I palm for 60 seconds because it produces a chemical that refreshes the eyes, I have the opportunity to become aware of the space between my breaths. So when I'm playing and I'm in between points, if I lose the space between my breath, if I'm panting, if you can, if I'm gassed, whatever you want to call it, I can simply stop and pay attention. You can't make the space appear. You can't, I don't do it by holding my breath, remember. You simply have to observe and see how long it takes to recover. It may feel like a long time, but it may not be a long time at all, maybe 15, 20 seconds. If it takes you five minutes to recover the space, you've gone way past the point. And now you know you need to do some work on your conditioning because that's too long to recover. Because in tennis, to be fit to play a competitive point, you have to be able to fully recover physically, emotionally, and mentally in 25 seconds or less. If it takes you longer than that, we can do work on conditioning and you'll see there'll be videos about that coming up in the future. All right, that was thing number four. Thing number five, the nasal diaphragmatic breath. Again, a natural breath, one that is used by us when we sleep predominantly. Nasal means the air moves in and out through the nose, although the control is in the throat. It's not a shallow breath. But again, there are videos on that for more detail. For now, just know in and out through the nose, and a full range of motion of the diaphragm, the thoracic diaphragm, the one that sits under the ribs and is somewhat dome-shaped or looks like a parachute. It's full range of motion when I inhale and when I exhale, kind of like a bellows. Now, when I get the full range of motion, I can connect to where the lower three lobes of the lungs, where all the blood-rich oxygen rests, as well as de-escalate again my nervous system. So using a nasal diaphragmatic breath can really help you to recover in the moment. All right, that brings me to thing number six. I think it is time for number six, the physiological sigh. So um, I learned about this by listening to a podcast by Dr. Anthony Huberman, who is a neuroscientist out of Stanford, has a really great podcast on the science of how the brain and the nervous system all work together and things you can do to get them to work even better and be healthier. Physiological sigh is two inhales followed by a long exhale. The inhales are through the nose and the exhale is through the mouth. So it would be Two or three of those, and in the moment, you will feel a de-escalation of your nervous system. You will be able to recover. Palming you can use on the changeovers. Can't use it during points, obviously. Um, that's it. Those are six things that you can do to recover in the moment. I hope you stuck in here for all of them, and I really hope you will leave a comment. I hope you'll try them, leave a comment, ask questions because that's how we learn in the Telos tennis community. This video was inspired by Ribley Boo's comment after he watched Exposed the Hidden Agenda. And a part of the, this video was also because I worked with a weekend warrior who said he had the yips and we had to focus on how he could get rid of the yips. And we learned the whole process of creating the specific and prioritized agenda. I need you to help me to help you. That's how it works in the Telos Tennis community. My name is Peter Rennert. I am super happy to be here and share what I know with you. Take care.